Morning folks, uh, another few questions this time, 2017 paper 1, after doing these uh, we'll have all 2017 paper 1 questions 1 to 6 done. So we'll start off here question 2, complex numbers. So z is minus root 3 plus a, use the Moivre's theorem. Now if you look up your formula book, once you see the Moivre's theorem, r cos theta plus a sine theta. r is your modulus, which is your distance from your origin. You know, and that's known as your argument. So the angle it makes with the positive real axis. Use the Moivre's theorem to write in z to the power of four in this form. So the first thing what you must do is change this into polar form. So what I would always tell you to do, try out a simple wee sketch where it is. Minus, there's your real axis. There's your imaginary axis, if you like. C A S T. Your cast. Your same circle for all. 0, 90, 180, 270, and then this is 180 minus a, a dealing degrees, so we just might do pi minus a with your radians, 180 plus a, and 360 minus a. Now identify where this boy is, minus root 3, so minus on the real axis somewhere over here, plus a, up there she goes, so it's in the sine region, it's in the 180 minus a, that's what you'll use to work out your argument. So the first thing, work out the modulus, square root of a squared plus b squared, um, or square root of real plus imaginary, uh, minus root 3, make sure you have your brackets, squared plus, ignore your a, but what number is in front of it, what's your coefficient of a, is 1, tidy that up, square root of 3 squared, throw it all in your calculator if you like, and you get a modulus of 2, and for your argument, it's tan inverse, Imaginary over your real, your imaginary is 1 over, ignore the minus, that's just telling you it's in the sine region. Imaginary over real, tan inverse 1 over 3. Now you can use your formula book for something like that, I don't have mine with me. Make sure your calculator is in degrees, 1 over 3, 30 degrees. And then to actually get the angle now, there's your reference angle. To get the angle, it's 180 minus A, so it's going to be 150 degrees. He's in that region. Therefore, in polar form, Z is equal to 2 cos 150 plus A sine 150. They're not just asking for Z. They're asking for Z to the power of 4. And this is the beauty of De Moivre. Rather than writing this out four times and multiplying it, there's a thing you can do with the power. So the power simply goes on to the modulus and then you multiply the angle. So 4, 150, just because I'm running out of space. So we'll have 600 plus A sine 600. And let's see what form do they want it in? That form there. So 2 to the power of 4 to 2, so 4, 4 2 is your 82, 16 plus 600 plus A sine 600. Now you've got to throw these into the calculator individually. 16 cos 600 is minus 8 and 16 sine 600 minus 8 root 3a and we're good look at the form they wanted it in there we go so z to the 4 is equal to that and the next thing the complex number w has it such that the modulus of w that's our r if you like is 3 3 units from the origin Makes an angle of 30 degrees. There's our 30 degrees. With the positive sense of the real axis. There's my positive values on the real axis, which is like your x axis. If t is equal to zw, right, t in its simplest form now. Let's see. So t, take me a wee bit of thinking to get my head around this in the morning. Zw. Uh, Z. Depends what you want. And to do, you can write your z as what they said at the top, minus root 3 plus a, or you could say t is equal to z, z you filled in up there, to be 2 cos 150 plus a sine 150 times w, and then w to give you all the information to fill that in, remember for the moivre, iron cos theta plus a sine theta. 
So r to your modulus is 3. And since we're in the positive sense of the real axis, we're in that a section of cast. And we don't need to take it away or anything like that. So it's 3 cos 30 plus sine sine 30. So I'm going to deal with it in polar form. And then to multiply these, what you do is you multiply your modulus, 2 times 3, which is your 6. You know, so you multiply the modulus and you add your angles, cos 180 plus sine 180. So you'll see that in your textbook. You leave it like that, I'm sure, could you? Or you can multiply it out, 6 cos 180. And throw that in. Minus 6, and it should be plus 0a. So that is simpler. 6 sine 180 for that Christian name surname. Plus 0a, so t is equal to minus 6. And that's that one. Um, I'll do another one. Uh, no, I'll leave it.